Hello everyone, it is Speedy of Terror Productions coming to you with what I am going to be calling Video 100.5, despite this being my 101st upload. Uh, this is part 2 of my video review of the Fans Project TFX04 Protector trailer. My word, that's a mouthful. And that's what she said! Anyone? Anyone? Any takers? Yes? No? No? Fucking tough crowd. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Jokes and whatnot aside, uh, where we last left off with this review, I did some vehicle mode and robot mode before and after height comparisons. Um... And I got Hot Rod transformed from the vehicle mode into how you see him. I also got the trailer transformed into how you see it now. Um, now, as I stated at the end of part one, this trailer does have a lot more secrets attached to its chassis. But I'm actually going to put what's left of the trailer aside uh, for the minute. And I'm going to focus on the articulation of the protector. But the first thing I'm going to do, before I cover the articulation, is I'm going to remove the two guns that I left Rodimus holding. Said guns being Sidearm and the Photon Eliminator. So, here we go. Um, in regards to articulation on the Fans Project Protector trailer, in its robot mode anyway. There is actually quite a lot of articulation that has been added to an otherwise well articulated figure. Something's just popped up on my phone, excuse me. Um, but yeah, so again, in regards of the standard robot articulation, in regards of the head, you've still got the basic uh, swivel joint of the noggin but because of the way the Rodimus Prime head sits on the Hot Rod head, you do get some up and down movement, which is pretty cool. Uh, the arms, other than the ball joints that Hot Rod's arms are already on at the shoulder, there is now also a ton of new articulation. Like, for example, the arm will move in and out at the elbow. The arm will rotate from the elbow. And the arms actually have, if I can just get this to work, not one, but two elbow joints, as you can see there. Now, I should point out this second elbow joint here is only due to transformation, but in some poses, it does actually, it is actually surprisingly efficient. Uh, again, still nothing in the waist, which is a bit of an upset, because realistically speaking, there is no excuse for there to not be a waist joint on the hot rod figure. Uh, the legs, they can still go forwards, they can still go back, uh, they can still bend at the knee, and they can still rotate at the knee. And of course, they can also go in and out from the waist as well. But, you also get an ankle tilt which is really effective for, like, wide-legged uh, stances with the protector, as I shall now demonstrate with a classic gun-wielding pose. So, uh, so yeah. So that's pretty cool. That pretty much covers the Protector trailer, or the Protector armor, in regards of the new articulation. Now, as I stated a couple of minutes ago, the trailer has more secrets to its chassis than just providing Hot Rod with a bunch of new armor and the half-ass tank mode. So what you want to do first is remove the flame from either cannon. 
flip up the little pilot saddle. Take these two back panels here. You want to rotate them out as so. You want to come to the support foot here. And you just want to yank that down as so. Kind of this red and silver section here. Pop that up. And you get a little roller unit, which I shall go into more detail later. Anyway, you take this red section here, flip that up into the cavity. Then you can take the control saddle if you want and flip that back down. It was originally here, and then when you flip it down, it goes to there. And then what you want to do is you want to come into these two cavities here along the side. And inside said two cavities, you will find a pair of blast shields. And this is the trailer's mobile battle bunker. And the first really cool thing about it to be noticed is that if you look at it from above, it does have a crossbow motif, which is actually pretty damn cool. Uh... So, yeah, and I mean, like, it's only on, like, the one foot, but I can knock it to the side like that, and it will still always get back, which is pretty damned impressive. And then just again for another height comparison, the target ridicule here is still the highest point, and it comes up to Rodimus's shoulder, which is actually pretty goddamned impressive, to be honest. Now then, during the transformation, you saw this cheeky little chappy drop out of what was left of the trailer. Not now, Bethan, I'm recording! Apologies. But, uh, but yeah, during the transformation, you saw this little roller unit drop from the chassis of the trailer. And this guy is full of wheels. Believe it or not, he has 12 of the buggers. Four on each axle. And the really nice thing about these wheels is that they are actually separately articulated. Which is a really, really nice touch. But yeah, and of course, all 12 wheels... Despite being individually articulated, all 12 of them do spin. And as you can see, he's got a kick-ass design with a kick-ass colour scheme. And right there underneath that canopy, you can see a very, very nicely painted engine block. Which is pretty damn awesome. And of course, on the back, you've got a port where you can take the fling missile from Hot Rod's handgun. And that can just store up his tail. And so it now looks like he's got a blue nitrous fart. But that's pretty cool. Removing that real quick. And then look at the top. You've got this port here. This is a 5mm port. Which can be used for... We'll say for example... The handle that Rodimus holds sidearm with. And it unfortunately isn't a very secure fit on mine. At least, well, it's not from what I can tell. Oh, wait, yes it is. Just getting the angle cracked and whatnot. <clears throat> anyway, you can flip it over then, and you will find a 4mm port, which can be used to hold sidearm via the grey handle or alternatively it can be used to hold hot rods handgun and the photon eliminator so that's pretty cool and with that all said done and covered what we are now going to do is we're going to get all three of these components back into one vehicle. And here's how it's going to go down. We're going to focus mainly for the minute on the mobile battle bunker and the roller unit. 
So the first thing you want to do is you want to take the little control cradle. You want to flip that up. Take this support block here, flip it down. Now it's important when you reinstall the roller unit that the 5mm port is facing this groove in the roof. Because if it's the 4mm port then it won't attach back on there securely. There we go. Flip the blast shields in. Shorten the leg on the support block, which is actually a lot trickier to do. Um, take these roof panels here, flip them around, and just leave the trailer like that for the minute. You now want to come to the protector and what you want to do then is you just want to start stripping the hot rod figure of all the protector armor and pretty much just get him back into his hot rod robot mode. There we go. And then while we're here, and while I've got hot rods like this, what I will do is I'll transform him back into his vehicle mode and get him ready for the combining with the trailer. And on top of that, one more height comparison where we will see what an upgrade, a Voyager class sized upgrade looks like up against a legit Voyager class action figure. Uh, that was the figure I just showed you just then is the Transformers animated Voyager class Optimus. So there you go, there's Hot Rod back in his vehicle mode, ready for combining with the trailer. Again, remember to leave the back wheels sticking out on their, um, on their little axles. Anyway, now to just uh, get all the pieces back in line, as so. Now to get these arms back on the trailer, this whole shoulder connection port or peg here sinks into this giant cavity here. Then there's a peg on the side which just attaches. Just repeat the process very, very quick with the other arm. And I say very quick because I think I am actually hard pressed for time. I think someone wants me, hence why I got interrupted earlier. And, uh, and very briefly. There we go. We attach the chest plate. So, come to the feet. You want to flip that down, flip the foot down, rotate that out, split the leg in two, flip the foot down, flip that over. And then, what this panel does effectively is the save it hanging like that, flip that over, and it locks it into place which is quite very clever, really. And then there's a small tab here and a friction plate right up in here that the foot will attach to. Again, just repeat the process on the other side of the trailer with the other foot. Take that support block, fold the roller unit up, Take this block here, flip that back over. Damn it, I knew me rushing would cause me to forget something. I have forgot to put the rifle extension for the photon eliminator back in between these two cannons. Uh, 
let the missile go. There it is. Come on, Ingenuity, don't let me down now. There we go. Flip down the target ridicule. Fold that up, fold that down, flip those up. Open the sides of the trailer. Take the fin extensions. Plug those in place. Fold the trailer sides back around. Take Hot Rod's handgun. Plug that into the back of the trailer. Open the side of the trailer back up again. Plug Hot Rod into it. There we go. And there is the protector trailer back in its vehicle mode. And as promised, we are going to have one more vehicle mode height comparison. We're going to have a third party deluxe to Voyager upgrade kit up against a legit Voyager class action figure. So here is the Fans Project TFX04 protector trailer alongside the Transformers animated Voyager class Optimus. Now, as you can see, the trailer is approximately the same length and the same height as the um, as the trailer, but on the whole, the trailer just makes Rodimus a far superior vehicle in regards of length. So, uh, so, yeah. And while there it was, ladies and gentlemen, there was my review of the Fans Project TFX 04 Protector Trailer. Um, if you've succeeded in watching all the way through of part two of this review, and part one of the review, actually, for that matter, I just want to pass a massive thanks on to you for doing so, and for helping me celebrate my 100th video anniversary. I think that's what it's called anyway. I don't know. Um, anyway, putting that aside, my next Transformers review will be of... Fuck's sake, that gave me a fucking heart attack. That did. Jesus Christ, I apologise for my foul language as well. That's something that's been getting worse since I turned 18. Stay. Anyway, as I was saying before I got scared witless, my next video review no, will be of the rather annoying stay will be of the movie one deluxe class Bumblebee. So until then, folks, this has been Speedy of Terrier Productions saying thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.